Welcome back to SportsZone. For the first time since the 2012 season, the RIT men's hockey team earned a spot in the Atlantic Hockey Association semifinals. The Tigers matched up with Canisius at the Blue Cross Arena with a spot in the AHA title game on the line. First period winding down. Canisius can't clear the zone in the MGM line strikes. Matt Garbowski to Brad McGowan. RIT took a 1-0 lead after one. Tied at one in the second with under five minutes to play. Danny Smith puts in his own rebound. His sixth goal of the year, 2-1 RIT. Jordan Ruby made some big stops down the stretch and route to 27 saves. Wayne Wilson wins his 300th game as RIT. And the Tigers advance to the conference championship with a 2-1 win over Canisius. RIT 1-2 and two all time in the AHA title game, facing off against Mercier for the championship. After a scoreless first period, we pick it up in the second. Tigers with numbers, watch the passing. McGowan to Garbowski to Josh Mitchell for the goal. It was 2-0 RIT. 2-1 in the third when the Lakers turn it over. That starts a two-on-one break for RIT. And Andrew Miller nets the wrister to give the Tigers a 3-1 lead. And it was fitting that the MGM line closed things out. Brad McGowan scores one of his two goals on the night. The MGM line tallied three goals and five assists to lead RIT to a 5-1 victory over Mercyhurst. With more from the Blue Cross Arena, here's SportsZone's Laura DiMartino. The RIT Tigers claim victory against the Mercyhurst Lakers 5-1 as they punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. This will be the Tigers' first advancement to the tournament since 2010 when they played in the Frozen Four. Talk about the feeling of accomplishment, just the, the fun that was the celebration, the, the corner crew waving the flag and everything going on on the ice right after. I mean, we've been through, like for juniors, all of us have come from winning backgrounds and you really got to soak in that moment. And um, yeah, so when you can see like that, those tangible results of our hard work and get to see the like, corner crew, just everyone react and you just get to have that awe sense and like, okay, this is awesome. You need to enjoy this. You just can't even describe it. It's just something we've been working for all year. And uh, you know, my first two years here, it was kind of a disappointment for us. And you know, to get where we are now is just, there's not even words that can describe it. You know, we're just real happy to have the best fans in our conference. The last time uh, I was here was freshman year and you know, had a sour taste in my mouth ever since then. So, you know, we had this goal all year and, you know, it's, Kind of going out with a bang as a senior, I know. I guess I can speak for you, you two as well. I mean, it's it's real nice, obviously, uh, to you know win the Atlantic Hockey, and now we're just looking forward from there. You just do what you do. Uh, you've got to be the best at what you can, and and uh, you're, you're always hoping it's enough. I, I, my thing will be enjoy. Uh, we'll keep working, and we want to get better than we were this weekend. So whatever that may be in. Uh, we'll do that. We'll take a look at what they do. We pay attention to what other teams are doing, but we still want to play our game. We feel good about ourselves. We, and we know whoever we play is going to be a great team, so, and wherever we, wherever we have to go. So we look forward to the challenge, and, and we'll bring our A game. I think as long as we just stay within ourselves and play our game and put our best foot forward, we'll, we'll, we'll battle hard, and, and we'll just have to see how the game goes. As Atlantic Hockey Champions, the Tigers earned an automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament as the 16th seed, the lowest in the field. RIT earned a date with the top overall seed, Minnesota State Mankato. The corner crew was well represented at the Midwest Regional Semifinal in South Bend, Indiana. First period action. Alexander Kukali gets the Tigers on the board. In the first with his fifth goal of the year, RIT led one zip after one. Second period action. RIT a man down and the Mavericks make them pay as CJ Franklin beats Jordan Ruby to tie the game at one. It would stay that way until late in the third. Josh Mitchell, the shot and the goal, but it would initially be waved off because of interference. They would review the play, and the call was reversed. RIT took a 2-1 lead and would hold on for the victory, becoming the first 16th seed to beat a number one seed in college hockey history. 
13 to 2 are the shots here in this third in favor of the top seed in the entire tournament, Minnesota State. Here comes Mitchell on the shot! He, no, they waved it off! They waved it off! Uh, McGowan made a really nice play entering the zone and I uh, made a nice draw pass. And uh, Garbo was just going to that hard and I, you know, was originally going to put it far pad and uh, just, you know, ended up in the back of the net. And... I started playing hockey at six. I'm 49. That's a tough one to swallow. I saw their forward come in, and when his head swivels and he sees that our defenseman's in front of him, there's contact, goes into the goalie, goalie falls over, goes in the net. No goal, so it has to be conclusive in events that it, they can overturn it. On that play, I thought the RIT player did push me into, into the, um, our goaltender. Um, I guess the refs didn't see it that way. From my perspective, I didn't really do that much. You know, I was just going to the net hard. Um, as the ref was coming out of uh, the penalty box, he was he uh, he mouthed something to me, and I thought he's I couldn't tell if it was good goal or no goal, and then and then the the horn went off, so that was kind of my first uh, reaction to it. You know, got lucky and thank my line mates for sure for doing their part. Um, definitely a big goal for our team and you know, now it's time to move forward and you know look look forward to tomorrow night as i was speaking to the team between the second and third being tied i thought we're a very young team so we've got to weather sometimes some hiccups we survived kind of the second i thought they came at us pretty strong and sure enough they came at us in the third as well they really brought it at times and i you know i just thought going into the third period there's just a lot of pressure on uh, the number one seed when it's, you know, one shot can mean a goal, and, and that's basically what happened. We got a good opportunity uh, in the third period. Uh, we drove the net. Uh, we thought it was a good goal. We rose to the occasion when we needed to, and uh, we weathered the storms when we had to, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of the guys. But defense did a tremendous job, and just everyone in general blocking shots. That last minute was a little crazy, and they did a great job uh, just laying the body in front of me and sealing up the win. And it's at the line. the top seed in the tournament. The Tigers advance to the Midwest Regional Final to face off against Nebraska Omaha with a trip to Boston and the Frozen Four on the line. RIT looking for its second trip to the Frozen Four. Omaha in search of the program's first. RIT had plenty of chances all night here in the first. Chase Norris with the blast from the blue line. No. McGowan the rebound. Even Josh Mitchell had a crack at it. But Ryan Massa made the big save. Jordan Ruby made some big stops too. In the second, Ruby with the stop and watch Mark Goldberg with the clear. It was scoreless after two. Just a minute into the third and Omaha strikes first as Jack Randolph scores one nothing Omaha. Late in the period, RIT with a costly giveaway and Omaha makes them pay. Austin Ortego scores to make it two zip. Just over a minute later, Omaha with a breakaway and Justin Parisak beats Ruby glove side. Omaha would add an empty netter. They go on to beat RIT for zip to earn a trip to the Frozen Four. And the Mavericks of Omaha come in with one more chance. They won't get it. They're going to win this game by a final of 4 nothing. They advance to the Frozen Four for the first time in program history. Disappointment for RIT. This, um, you know, always difficult to find words what to say at this time when you, you come in and you've just lost your, your game and ended your season. But uh, again, uh, to Nebraska Omaha, I thought they played a great game. I thought it was a great hockey game. Uh, very proud of uh, the way we played and, uh, uh, you know, obviously disappointed with the loss. But, uh, you know, it's uh, going out with these guys this year. I, I couldn't be prouder. And uh, I thought we still played hard and we still played the right way. And sometimes you just don't get the bounces. Chances. Here's one they score! Omaha Randolph! Drop. Yeah, that first goal is important at this time of year uh, in the playoffs. It doesn't matter. I mean, you look at the uh, all around the country and the games that have been played, that first goal is huge. And, and then you get the second one, it's kind of game over. Here's a chance they score! Austin Ortega! Obviously, you know, uh, they're after that first goal, they, uh, you know, were sparked a bit more than they were. And, you know, uh, 
it was it was tough to find your our legs there I guess a little bit but you know what we were just trying to grind it out and you know there were a lot of times where we were just shaking her head kind of frustrated what a save by Massa face off coming up in the uh, Omaha a lot of the credit goes to Ryan he kept us in for a while and the whole game and um without him been a whole new game doesn't have anything puts on that Massa bobbles it and it leads to a scram and a second chance by Cameron coming late just my job, you know, uh, you know, on the roster, I'm listed as a goalie. So my job is to, you know, keep the puck out of the net at whatever cost it may be. So uh, for me, uh, it was just a matter of time. You know, I just had to keep the boys uh, settled. And uh, fortunately, you know, Randy found the back of the net first. And then from there, you know, like I said, we just kept rolling. You know, they were a physical physical bunch. They, they put on, you know, one hell of a fight. Let's hold his post there and get a pat on that. Good play by him and a good save to... They keep this a scoreless, scoreless game here. Yeah, they're they're a good hockey team. Obviously, uh, you know, well coached, and and they uh, they play a short pass game, and and obviously a lot of talent, especially that top line of theirs. I'm really proud of our seniors getting back to the tournament and uh, and their play and uh, the bar that they set for our program again. And uh, really proud of this group of players. And every, and every year it's it's different, uh, different dynamics on a team and. This is a really fun group to uh, coach and to be around uh, all year long. And, you know, it's, uh, it, was, it was really a fun group. And, uh, you know, some years are just a little bit more fun. And it's not always about wins and losses. It's just being around the group and, and how they work every day and, you know, just their attitude around the rink uh, on tough days and on good days. I know. I'm just grateful that we got this far. And uh, I'm just proud of the boys and how well they worked. And um, they made a name for themselves. We put RIT back on that map nationally and people now know it's RIT and not RIT. While the season is now over for most of the Tigers, Matt Garbowski and Jordan Ruby continue to play on. Garbowski signed with the HL's Rochester Americans and goaltender Jordan Ruby inked a deal with Toledo of the ECHL. It was a season to remember for both the RIT men's and women's hockey teams with both programs falling just one win shy of reaching the Frozen Four. We leave you now with a look back at the Tigers' remarkable run. Goal for the men at the RIT Gene Policini Center. Terry at the camera, the backhander, the goal. Here's Bully jumping in. Bully to win it. She does. Emily Bully wins it in overtime. This being the first year as a fully vetted Division I team. RIT, RIT. Mitchell with the turnover right out in front. And it's put back in. Who else, Johnny? As the Tiger toss. Commences the Teddy Bears coming onto the ice. Right in front, McGowan, all sorts of time! 2 0 RIT! Clear by Norris going ahead to Garbowski. Whoa, Garbowski! Are you kidding? Winning a championship is the main goal, and you know, that's definitely what we're trying to do. Every year you want to build on build on the previous years. Last year, CHA champions, we want to go a step up. Just start rolling with wins and anything can happen. Gary coming up with it in front, McCulkey! Oh, Ruby, a big time save! Boy, this Tiger team is gelling at the right time. Uh, I just got the puck from Colby. I broke down the ice and just shot it over a glove. I was just so excited it went in. It's just unbelievable. Back to Garbowski, back to Mitchell, textbook oh. by Gensher, the rebound, put back in! Top seed overall in the tournament, there's certainly pressure on Minnesota State. They're facing a team from Atlantic Hockey and RIT. Now another chance, they score! Flipped in, back in! Shots here in this third in favor of the top seed. In the Entire tournament, Minnesota State. Here comes Mitchell on a shot! Here's 
There's a chance now. They get free. They got to get a shot. And Gervais didn't get much on it. Toward the front. Knocked out of there. And it's at the line. And the hockey game is over. RIT has knocked off the top seed in the tournament. They win it 2-1. to one.